the Allies managed to defeat the Japanese in what was their greatest uh, defeat in any land battle in their entire history. If it had not been for the Allied victory at uh, Kohima and Imphal, uh, the entire history of uh, uh, World War II would have been very, very different. 84,000 Japanese troops poured into India from Burma in March 1944. With the Indian National Army, they aimed to take Imphal and then move west to march on Delhi. They simultaneously attacked Kohima, a hill garrison on the road to the railway at Dimapur. The Japanese had expected their opponents to quickly surrender. They didn't. General Bill Slim trained his troops from Britain, India and across the empire for a long, hard slog. And there was no shortage of courage on the Japanese side. The troops had travelled light, expecting to plunder Allied stores when they defeated them. The gamble didn't pay off. Instead, the Japanese fought on, sick and starving. By contrast, the Allies enjoyed control of the skies and their supplies. The troops in Imphal were all supplied by air. The air battle of Imphal was as much as important as the battle on land. The Japanese supply lines were overstretched. Nothing got to them by land or air. Their plight was most acute at Kohima. It was the monsoon, the leeches, the, the malaria. They were reduced in the end to boiling grass in water and that was their sustenance. The commander was forced to do what no Japanese commander had ever done. He withdrew his troops. He saw no point in the senseless slaughter of his men who would have fought on to the death. For this group of serving soldiers, Visiting the battlefield 75 years on has left a deep impression. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. There's many stories since we've been here of how every single officer within that company have been killed. Therefore, senior NCOs, young junior NCOs have had to step up and actually take command of a large body of men. Well, if that's not inspiration, then I don't know what is. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. I can see the ground, I can see the scenario, I can imagine that how brave they were, how hard they, did they work, and how tough they were. Three words that the Indians of the Nagas are using currently are remembrance, reconciliation and rebirth. And I think that's uh, very, very fitting for the occasion. British Indians and the Japanese fought for their own cause. However, as the time has passed, the wound have healed. And today, all three are progressing in very friendly way. Remembrance is more than looking backwards. War is not far away at any point in time. When politics breaks down, a war is perhaps a consequence. And remembering those that sacrificed their lives is one way of countries coming together to make sure that any crises and any problems uh, are resolved peacefully. Yeah.